Now, let's talk about some possible connections here or things that I find significant in the whole situation. Bronco Girl, before she made her way into my space, my area, wherever I'm at, my favorite place in the world to be that she came to infiltrate and slander, I'm sure, and try to turn people against me. The reason why, though, hmm, who put her up to it? Or did she just do it on her own? I, I don't think she did it on her own. And like I said, Gregory Manorino seemed to know about the whole thing before it happened, making uh, references to um, Harold and Kumar, uh, uh, what was his name, Sideshow or whatever, the, the tow truck guy that had the hot girlfriend. Yeah. He was make, he had like a uh, he he was taking like toilet paper and sticking it to his face and saying this is a freak show that was his name freak show this is a freak show and peeling it off a freak show the reference to this gorgeous woman fucking a guy that's way out of uh that that a woman a guy fucking a woman dating a woman that's way out of his league and he thought that was funny like, ha ha, yeah, no one will ever think anything of this, right? I think something of it. Um, and then, you know, she was up in New York before she came down to Florida, right? New York, New York. Who's in New York? Who's in New Oh, that's right, Hassan Campbell. Um, okay, what, what what else do we got here? Hmm. Nikki Delventhal, um, which is funny, see, because I mentioned she's, she was an ex-NFL cheerleader. You know, some of my people, they're tied into the NFL pretty pretty good there, I would say. They, they probably can reach all the way through that shit, all the way through the NFL, personally. You understand? Like, personally. I'd be willing to bet. Um, what else do we have here? Um, Oh, we have Pink Pigolo. Now, this character, he shows up in Florida the same time she does, holding up a knife in his thumbnail. I followed an unstoppable Morgan to Florida. For what, dude? And the whole video was about, oh, these women just want to save people and give them money. And da -da -da. See, she might have had good intentions, and he was trying to stop her. But why? What interest is it of his, whether she's coming my way? She, she didn't even know the guy, according to her. She never talked about him but once that I heard, but maybe more because I don't pay that much attention. But she's like, yeah, I don't really watch him. I don't know. Eh, eh. And then a girl that I met in Florida, she watches Pigolo. And her too, I think, but not as much. She's more on Pigolo's side. She said, she's afraid of him. She's afraid of him? Whoa, okay, if she's afraid of him and this girl is doing all this weird shit and seems to have all this power, hacking phones, in good with the police, and she's afraid of him? Then who the fuck is he? Right? If this girl is like a special fucking CIA agent, damn near, and that people have hinted around to that, and she's afraid of him, who the fuck is this guy? And then making threats on my people? Thinking you're, you're cute? Thinking you're slick, buddy? And then you mentioned Hassan Campbell. I'd really like to collab with Hassan Campbell. Come on, dude. Can you hear me now? Good. Good. And then, coincidentally, I end up buying a moldy vehicle. Um... <laughs> That's the same color as Nikki's and Bronco Girl's new vehicle. And as soon as I leave Florida to go get it registered and whatnot, she magically shows up in Florida talking about, Oh, Italians this, Italian, I love Italians. Oh, I'm going to Italy. Really? Italians, huh? What's the deal with Italians all of a sudden? Huh. Huh, that's interesting. And by the way, it was, I bought it in Tampa, where Pink Pigolo has been on the radio um, in Tampa. And, you know, Tampa's a kind of a, the whole west side of Florida and the Panhandle seem to be, um, have a lot of white supremacy and racism. Um, perfect place for a guy like that. Um, yeah. Uh, 
I don't know how he spends time in Houston, honestly. See, they're confident that people don't know what's going on. And I'm bewildered as to how they don't and how these people are walking or are freely floating around the way they do. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking that's going to uh, not be the case if I'm heard. If I'm being heard, that that that's no. You can't blame me. You did it. I'm not asking nobody to do nothing. You did it to yourselves. If I'm being heard, I I would I would hang it up. You might want to go get rent a property and uh, do arts and crafts on YouTube or something. Cause I don't think traveling's in your future. Um, Cause first of all, I don't think you got the balls for it, um, given the circumstances. And I don't think it's going to be safe for you if if people know what you people been doing. Um, as for me, it's never been safe, and ain't nothing going to change me. And I'll, I'll I'll go right into the fire. I always have, and I don't really give a fuck if I die. You know why? Because I can't afford to give a fuck if I die. Because people like you, this is what we got to do. This is what real heroes do. This is what real people do. This is what we were forced to do. The way we're forced to live. The way we're forced to think because of people like you. People that are the system. That's been attacking us for decades, centuries. This is what we are. That's what you are. We're not the same. You understand? And if I'm heard, if I'm truly heard, you're, you're, I would say you're all done with. You're all done for. At least your fucking little careers. Yeah. You pick, what, what'd she say? They picked the right one. Yeah, you did. I'd say so. See, because... Everything that's been done in my life has been done behind the behind the curtains. Y'all brought it to fucking social media. That was a big fucking mistake cuz all that shit's documented. It doesn't go away ever. That was a big mistake. I actually actually wait, thank you. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much. Because all it takes is for someone to demand that it be looked into investigated maybe th put up a couple hundred dollars i mean a couple thousand dollars say this needs investigated get it done we want a subpoena and that's it it's over with done done exposes everybody and everything from there snowball snowball effect how they allowed you people to do this on social media is beyond me because the 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 effort it will take to cover all this shit up <laughs> I mean, I don't doubt that. I mean, I'm not saying they can't and won't do it. I mean, look, just look around, right? But that's a, that's a pretty that's that. Wow, that lets you know where we're at. And while everybody's bitching about freedoms being taken and oh, we're patriots and blah, fucking blah, shut the fuck up because this shit's happening right here in front of everybody. <laughs> yeah, for this to not be dealt with, which it hasn't been dealt with for over 20 years. Shows you where your country is going. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. You're all fulfilling it for yourselves. You're not. You're, nothing's going to get better. It probably won't get better anyway. But this is a guarantee. This what's happening right here. Been happening all these years. Is a guarantee things will not get better. Especially when you're televising it. You're putting it on the internet. Where it never goes away. This country will never get better. If this is allowed to survive and thrive. Thank you very much. Thank you.